in today's video, I try and get my head around the colour yellow. Blue, green, red, green, blue, green. Which one's yellow? And I capture something on camera that is really odd. What is that? Look at my poor, confused face. Hey loves, welcome back. So in today's video, we're doing another tested trial, but this time with a facial gadget that has some bold claims. It claims to lift and firm the neck and face. I'm a fan of all things skincare. I'm 41 now. Looking after my skin is a priority. And I have, as I've got older, as we all probably will or do, I've noticed a difference in my skin and the gels the jowls. Firstly, who even invented the word jowls? Like, ugh, even the word is depressing. But the jowls have already started to set in. That's fine. That's mother nature. That's life. That's faces. That's gravity. And as we get older, our skin isn't as perky as it once was. However, I am going to try everything I can to combat the jowlage. And I have been looking into gadgets and gizmos and things that I can do at home, like an in-home treatment, that might help maybe lift and tighten the neck and slow down the jowl formation. And I was watching my beloved QVC and I saw, <laughs> uh, well, if it's broken, you didn't see that. Even the gadget itself is running away saying, don't do this. This is the Lab Beauty, the Life and Beauty Jawline Defender for lifting and firming the face and neck. This is quite pricey, it's quite spendy, but QVC do like a today special value where every single day they do like a different special offer. And about, I don't know how long ago it was, it feels like five years ago, instead of like 160 or 170 pounds, this was 95, I think with postage and I got some chin hammocks. I'm a chin hammock virgin, so maybe that'll be another video. Anyway, this interested me and they used it on air and the results were dramatic. This was created by two sisters who were Oxford University scientists. Very impressive. Using clinically proven, two important words, technology to deliver visible results. So this has a gadget, it has five different colored LEDs to treat all kinds of different things with your skin. You can use it on your neck, your jawline, on your face, li to lift your eyes, all, all kinds of facial torture, apparently. It has a microcurrent, galvanic current, thermal therapy, and massage, all in one. So I thought we'll try it out together for the first time and see if we can see any difference on my jawline. I've not even looked at this yet. So it comes with this thing. Lab beauty. While I'm unboxing this, I just wanna say really, really quickly, before I bought it and since it's arrived, I have done so much internet research and the information on this is really, really minimal. Even on the Lab Beauty website, there's about four sentences about what this does. Very vague, very simple, and it doesn't fill me with a lot of hope, if I'm honest. There aren't many reviews of it. Like, it's almost like this is around, but no one's really talking about it. And I wanna know if it's because no one's really discovered it yet, or if it just doesn't work, and that is the reason why no one's talking about it. The good thing with QVC is it has a very good money back guarantee. So if this doesn't work, I'm absolutely gonna send it back for 80, 95 pounds. So it's got a little booklet. It's got the, the tool, glasses cleaner because you need that to be able to read the instructions. And in the bottom, USB charging cable. Ah, oh. I should have checked if it was charged. Great, I mean, my glasses are absolutely filthy. First of all, I'm gonna use the cloth that came with it to polish the glasses. So far, I'm impressed. <laughs> Trying the jawline and the neck, targets wrinkles and loss of structure. That sounds Fabulous. Galvanic current increases the penetration and effectiveness of moisturizers and enhances their benefits of their active ingredients and increases skin's moisturization after just one use. Amazing. Massage, deep tissue massage, all from this old guy. Wow. Improves lymphatic drainage, reduces puffiness, blah, 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 blah. Right, so there's different LED technologies. 
So you go through the modes. Mode one is the blue LED. So it beeps. Well, it's red. Should we take this label off? So it's red. So mode one is red. Well, it's not. Mode one. Green. That's very green. That's very blue. Green. Red. Green. Blue. Green. Which one's yellow? Maybe this one's yellow. The red light works at specific wavelengths between, oh gosh, this is very sciencey. Just show me a before and after and show me how to use it. The wavelengths between 630 nms, I don't know what that is, and 660, and is clinically proven to increase the elasticity and firmness of skin, visibly reducing lines and wrinkles for a long, younger looking jawline. The blue LED light reduces oiliness, puffiness, and also congestion and visible appearance of pores. Helps to resurface, hydrate, and improve skin clarity. The green LED light improves skin luminosity and radiance. Helps to even skin tone and discoloration. And the yellow, I haven't heard of yellow. I've heard of red, blue, and green, but I haven't heard of yellow. But the yellow improves microcirculation and improves skin hydration and plumpness. Wowzers. I think I'm just gonna go for the red. So on clean, dry skin, apply your preferred serum or cream to the area you want to treat. Your skincare has to have aqua listed as one of the ingredients. So I picked up this, I've got it upside down, from TK Maxx actually. This is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Plump and Rehydrate Hydration Gel. And the first ingredient in this is aqua. It's a really beautiful hydrating gel with aqua. Oh, it turns on. Let's see if you can hear this. It starts to vibrate and turn on when you touch it on your skin. That's quite snazzy. Use steady upward motion, starting from the base of the neck. That's the base of the neck, isn't it, down here? Oh, I see where you need cream, because otherwise this is not gliding anywhere. Upwards to the jawline and onto the lower cheek. Repeat this motion approximately five times in each position across the whole neck area. Use for a mi minimum of four minutes to do your entire face or neck or up to 20 minutes for a more intensive facial result. And I've got 20 minutes every day to do this. I guess you could do it in front of the TV, right? I'm gonna put this gel. Oh, it's really lovely. Oh, I've not showed you, but it's like a really lovely kind of whipped light gel formulation. Okay. As it passes over my jaw, it makes my teeth rattle. It feels warm. I'll just do a couple more, then we'll compare. Twin. Oh, oh, that was my little beep, wasn't it? Of one minute. One minute. Let's just do a little bit more. I'm gonna do is stop talking impossible and we'll do a little bit of a comparison to see I've just checked the before footage and the after footage and I don't think I can see any difference at all I'm gonna try this side and we'll, and we'll decide then check the before and afters again and I don't think I can see any difference however I'm not going to write it off immediately you know anything especially when it comes to beauty and skincare takes time even though it says immediate visible results I am going to keep using it I'm going to keep using it the guarantee means that I can keep using it and then I think we'll do a roundup and we can make a bit of a better decision after I've used it five or six times so my immediate reaction is that it's not done anything for me with regards to kind of lifting my jawline um, but let's see how it goes over the next week or so So this is a day I kept to that really, really odd, strange, spooky thing that happens to my phone. I'm filming as normal. I look up. My screen is completely blurred. 
And then this happens. What the hell is that? Okay, I have used the Lab Beauty Drawline Definer. I think in my intro I called it a Defender. It's definitely not a Defender. It's a Jawline Definer. I've used it maybe 15 times now. I followed the instructions. The shape of it is fantastic. Um, it fits really wonderfully to the contours of your face, kind of underneath your cheekbone, your jaw. You know, it glides on really easily when you've got your moisturizer or your serum on. So the concept is amazing. I stuck with the red LED option for me the whole time. The blue, green, yellow, they all sounded fantastic, but for my kind of needs and what I want to achieve from a a gadget like this, red was perfect. And I have to say, for me personally, I don't think I'm seeing any visible results. It's a really expensive tool. Yes, I got it on special offer with QVC and it was still expensive, right? 95 pounds. If you wanted to buy this now, if you can't find an offer, it's 170 pounds. For that kind of investment, I wanna see results. I wanna see a dramatic difference. And I know that perhaps my, you know, my jawline and my gels aren't that desperate right now. But I still want to see some results and I'm 41 and my skin isn't as tight as a 21 year old. So effectively I should see some results, but sadly I haven't. Now I know results can vary. I've tried my best to follow the instructions. There may be some user error involved as always. I'm always very open-minded and I'll always put my hands up if, you know, if I've used it wrong, but I do feel like I followed the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. And I love the LED options if you have different issues, but just for me, I'm not seeing any difference. Also, since I started recording this video, I posted a little bit of the kind of ghosty, spooky thing that happened on my Facebook. And I had a couple of comments saying, oh, I've got one of those, I got it from Amazon. So there are similar tools around that aren't as expensive. Is there a difference? I, I don't think there is an, or if there is a difference, it's so, so subtle that I just I don't feel like it's worth the time it takes to use it for such a tiny, tiny difference, if that makes sense. And also just because it didn't really do anything or I didn't see any difference for me personally doesn't mean that you won't or someone else won't. I saw this live on QVC. I saw right before my very own eyes without any trickery or wizardry, I saw this work. Granted, the ladies that were using it were quite a bit older than me and had more of a problematic neck area, but it did work for them. So. I'm not saying that the technology in the tool doesn't work. I just don't feel like it worked for me personally at this stage of my life. Perhaps as technologies and science evolves, maybe I'll revisit version 10 in 10 years time. But right now, the jaw definer didn't really define my jaw. And for that kind of money, it has to go back. Also, I'm just gonna throw it out there. That weird thing that happened to my camera wasn't an editing trick. <laughs> I didn't put that in like post-production. I didn't put in some kind of wizardry transition. I have absolutely no idea what that was and my very confused face kind of underlines the fact I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Perhaps it was someone visiting me just telling me to put this down, pack it in, put it away. Thank you so much for watching. Have you got any gadgets, gizmos, tips, tricks or anything that you like to do to help firm and lift your neck and jawline? I'd love to hear them so make sure you let me know in the comments if you know of anything or if you've seen something that you've not tried that you've been wondering about let me know as well because i'd love to check it out anyway as always if you found this helpful don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll speak to you really soon take care